Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Anna and we're still quarantined here in the Bahamas. That's why today we're going to go over my top tips on how to stay positive during this lockdown. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let's go. I know we're all hoping for this lockdown to finally come to an end, but the reality is pandemics don't just take a few months to go away. You look in the history books, they take at least several months, years. The world needs to stay positive. My concern is people's mental health. Even I have my down days. It's okay to be down. That is healthy for your body. It's good to cry. But today we're going to go over my tips on how to be positive. Normally, when you're not happy, it's important to address why you're not happy. The underlying answer is worry. If you don't worry about anything, what exactly is there not to be happy about? I'm not going to say that I believe in God. Actually, I don't exactly know what I believe in, but I do believe in things that are meant to be, that there is a bigger force that will sort things out. And that belief is what keeps me going and keeps me happy and, and makes me not worry. Of course, I do worry. I worry in order to help people, in order to help and impact the world. But I don't let this worry get to my personality and stop me from being happy. Get rid of the worry and normally you can be happy. The key is really to believe in yourself, just to love each day of your life. We are lucky to be alive every day. Then you can follow these tips on how to stay positive. Number one on how to stay positive, smile. It's so simple, but my mom always said to me, when you're feeling down, when you're feeling upset, just try and smile. Just do it. And I guarantee next time you're upset, you're crying, you're sad, you're a bit depressed, just force yourself to smile. Just, just doing it makes you happy. Number two on how to stay positive. Wake up every day and write down or think about three things that you are thankful for. Thankful for in this world that you know you are lucky to have. For me, when I wake up, I'm happy because of my health. I'm happy if I am well, if I haven't got a cold, if I'm not feeling ill, if I haven't got a headache or a hangover, who knows. <laughs> Second is my family. If my family are safe and healthy, I'm happy. Number three is normally if I'm safe and I'm so grateful for being in a safe place during this time right now. So yeah, I just wake up every day and I think of those three things. Just go over it and it puts me in a positive mood. There's no point waking up every day and just going over in your mind about this whole impact of the coronavirus. And that brings me on to point number three, YOLO. I know it is cliche and a bit out of the urban dictionary, but you only live once. What is the point in spending time being sad, being grumpy? I'm only 21 once. <laughs> I'm going to be 22 soon. Ah, I'm getting old. Yes, it is good to be sad when something bad's already happened. But just waking up in a mood, eh, meh. Number four, you know what puts me in a good mood? Listening to music. You look at my playlist and it is random, it's random. But one thing my playlist never has, sad depressing songs. Sorry, but if you are going over a breakup, if you're depressed, if you've got that sad music, sad love songs, whatever going on, that's not gonna make you happy. Okay, yeah, you wanna cry, get it out, get it out. Don't listen to it for hours though. Click on your happy vibes, go for tropical house, just get the party started. Number five, your personality isn't just based off of you. It's the effect and influence that other people have on you. And that's why in order to be happy, you need to surround yourself with positive people. If you come into contact with negative people and you have no choice to keep them in your life, Yes, that's fine, but don't bother spending that much time with them. I don't. I like to surround myself with positive people that can bring that positive energy to me. That's not going to be bring me down, discredit everything I say. There's no point and they will affect my personality and put me in a bad mood and I'm not going to let that happen because I don't want to frown, I don't want to be sad, I want to be happy. Six, it is okay to be sad. So I had a phase where I didn't cry for a year and a half and I recently broke that record because of everything that's been going on and I cried and it felt good and I realized that I shouldn't have been bottling up those emotions so yeah as I said I always have my down days everyone does and social media definitely 
deceives you in that way and that everyone is being productive and having fun during lockdown but the reality is it's not now crying is a good way for me to release sadness but i like to do it in another way when i'm angry if i'm sad when i was at university i was very stressed so i used to do taekwondo classes just fighting getting all the anger out it helped so much now actually singing releases my troubles as well when i'm sad I, I will sing i make up a song about it number seven when i'm feeling sad or sulky i imagine that someone is there watching me it might be like a celebrity like jason derulo or maybe a teacher one of my teachers and i would just imagine that they're watching me and what their reaction would be so like if jason derulo was in the room and i was crying and being upset and being a real bitch to my mum, jason derulo would be like hell no and why would I want to do that in front of Jason Derulo? He's Jason Derulo. <laughs> it's a weird technique, but try it. It helps me. So when I'm sad, I just imagine that, yeah, Jason Derulo's right there. So number eight, remember to love yourself. Remember that you can be yourself, that you're in control. Cliche, but no one is perfect. Nobody should judge you unless they check their perfect first. Be who you want to be. Yeah. Now these tips obviously great for making you positive but as i said sometimes it is important to address the root of why you are unhappy at the moment we're all in this together lockdown has caused a great depression in our mental well-being guys throughout the world but in order to address the root of this problem our depression the only way we can do this is by abiding and obeying what our governments are telling us to do guys wear your mask wear your gloves social distance, do what the government is saying because that's the only way that we are going to be able to get out of this lockdown. My mum always says it's not the end of the world, that's how she keeps positive, but mum at the moment it might be the end of the world as we know it, for a bit. Yes of course the situation is bad guys, I am not undermining that at all. But apart from obeying what the government is saying right now, there is physically nothing we can do unless you're a scientist creating a cure, unless you're a key worker, of course. But if you're just stuck in lockdown, there's nothing you can do. But we can stay positive. The main way we can spread positivity is blocking out hate. The amount of hate there is on social media compared to the amount of positivity is crazy, guys. Hate comments can end lives. Hate comments can put someone in a depression that they will never get out of. We need to understand the impact of our actions by just typing that comment. I recently found and made friends with a great TikToker. His name is George Brown. I put his link in the description below to his TikTok. He's recently exploded on TikTok and that's because he was promoting how hate comments can have such a large impact on a person's life. And he also makes great positive videos. Every day I wake up and watch his videos, follow him and support him. He is amazing. And he's probably the kindest person I've ever known on social media. If you message him, he will reply. In the comments, he will reply. He genuinely just wants to make people happy, entertain people and make you guys positive and block the hate. Genuine, most genuine person I've ever met on social media. So go give him a follow right now. He deserves it. You can also follow me on TikTok every day at 4pm I do a live video. So I go live for around an hour and me and sometimes my friends join in. We talk, we sing, we dance, we do everything. Just like a party on a live video. If you fancy brightening your day, we're live every day at 4pm. That's Eastern Standard Time. UK time is 9pm. The fact is guys, Corona has stopped us in our tracks. No matter who you are, we have all been affected some way by this pandemic. And what I want to say is that you need to come to terms with that. In 2020, you may not achieve something. Maybe you wanted to travel, get a promotion, finish university. It doesn't matter. We all need to remain positive and be willing to put our lives on pause for this year, 2020. Because this year, we achieve something together. Together for the same goal. And that goal is to eliminate coronavirus. So be positive, stay safe, and tune into my TikTok, why don't you? <laughs> Subscribe and like this video, guys. I hope you are more positive after watching this. I love you, and I will see you very soon. Bye.